Welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and I am self-converting my Ram Pro Master to live, travel, and work in full-time on the road. Subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with my van build series. Hey there, I hope you are well. If you've been following along with my channel at all, then you know at the end of last year, I installed my entire electrical system start to finish, which included running pre wires throughout my van, wiring that entire electrical system in the bed box over my driver's side wheel well. I went ahead and explained how my system captures, stores, and uses power, touched on the Victron Connect app, power assist, ways to maintain your electrical system. And in my last video, I touched on things you should consider before you buy your solar panels. So if you're interested in checking those videos out, I will link all four of them in the description box below. But in this video, I wanted to take the time to explain some things that you should consider before you buy your batteries for your own DIY camper van electrical install. With that, let's get started. When it comes to choosing your batteries, you will come across several different types. The two more common options being lithium and AGM. So I'm going to cover the pros and cons of going with either or battery. An important criteria to consider is the battery's depth of discharge, which indicates the percentage of the battery's capacity that you can deplete before you damage the battery. With lithium batteries, you can use about 85 to 95 percent of the battery's capacity, whereas with AGM batteries, you can only use 50 percent of the battery capacity before you start damaging it. In other words, on a single charge of both an AGM and lithium battery, the lithium battery is going to last longer than the AGM battery will. Since frequent depletion below the battery's capacity will decrease the battery's lifespan, the lithium batteries are less exposed to that damage since you can use more of the battery's capacity. Whereas with AGM batteries, you really gotta keep a close eye and make sure you don't go below that 50% capacity, which will damage the battery and decrease its lifespan over time. When it comes to a battery's lifespan, all batteries will experience a gradual decrease in its ability to store energy over time, but not all solar batteries are created equal. So the two main things that affect your battery's lifespan is how often you go below that depth of discharge, which damages the battery, and then how many charging cycles you do. A charging cycle is once you fill up the battery and then you deplete it all the way down, that is one charging cycle. Typically, a lithium battery's performance decreases less than 1% in a year, and you can expect between 300 and 4,000 charging cycles, as opposed to AGM batteries, where you can expect 200 to 750 charging cycles on average if you follow the depth of discharge specifications. In terms of years, AGM batteries will have a lifespan between two to three years on average, as opposed to lithium batteries, which can last over 10 years. So lithium batteries have a much longer lifespan than AGM batteries do. Now, when it comes to charging times and efficiency, lithium batteries charge faster and are more efficient than AGM batteries. Another thing to know is that lithium batteries are lighter in weight compared to AGM batteries. And this is important because you can't put an excess load of items in your van so this might be an area where you can save on some of that weight and go with lithium over AGM batteries. And sometimes the weight differences can be pretty significant. AGM batteries can sometimes weigh three and a half times more than lithium batteries. However, AGM batteries are more durable and heavy duty since they are designed to withstand consistent vibrations and temperature changes. Whereas vibrations and cold climates does affect the performance of lithium batteries and damages the batteries over time. So my advice is to make sure that your battery bank is secured in your van as best you can to at least help to limit the vibrations that it will experience when you're driving the van. And also look into battery heat pads. They are 12 volt items that you can plug in. And when your battery bank drops below a certain temperature, they kick on and heat your batteries to prevent any damage. So this is especially helpful if you plan on traveling to colder climates when you're living in your van. Honestly, the only downside of lithium batteries is the cost. They are more expensive than AGM batteries, but that's because they are a far more superior battery than AGM. 
Therefore, my recommendation is to just get lithium batteries from the start, as opposed to having to replace your AGM batteries down the road and spending more money in the long run. This is especially the case if you're someone like myself who is going to be living in the van full time for several years to come and I will be in the van longer than the two to three year lifespan of an AGM battery. So there are some pros and cons of lithium and AGM batteries. Here is a chart that summarizes everything I just went over so that you can pause and reference it if needed. To follow my van build journey, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss my next video where I will be installing a side ladder. That's a game changer. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more frequent updates and to connect and interact with me. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.